Hey everyone, welcome in another episode of the Daily Coder. Today you're gonna learn more about new brand Android 14 release, as well as exciting features coming along Rails 7.1 version, which also has just been released. We'll also dwell on a translation option in the newest Firefox browser and talk about the latest Chrome operating system update, which brings material you design to the operating system. Finally, we'll look closer at interesting battle between Deno, Ban and Node.js and very closely compare all the solutions. As always, all links to the original sources are included in the description down below. And now, without further ado, let's get started. Android 14 release highlights enhanced user experience and business features. Android 14 launches with significant improvements in performance, efficiency and customization options. The operating system now freezes cached application over time. It also allows users to customize font size up to 200% and set up specific language preferences. Furthermore, regional settings like temperature units and enhanced voice support for accented users provide a tailored experience. Additionally, business users benefit from a new six-digit default screen lock pin, refined credential manager permissions and 2G connection security options. Rails 7.1 a glimpse into monumental release. The upcoming Ray 7.1 promises a myriad of novel features. As highlighted release notes, which you can find in the description down below, this release will encompass Docker integration, novel authentication capabilities, support for common tables expression, and innovate token generation functionalities. One of the most exciting options seems to be inclusion of Stripe features and its alternatives, including payment intents and embedded checkout. Developers also introduced Paddle as a potential alternative to Stripe. Furthermore, the newest version of Rails received health check endpoints and tools for detecting unused routes and async queries. The version further enhanced support for TypeScript and JS bundling. Additionally, creators emphasized the well-known from the previous episodes of the Daily Coder BAN package manager's potential, highlighting its capacity to replace Node and NPM in the future. Firefox 118 unveil in-browser translation tool. The latest iteration of Mozilla Firefox version 118 introduced a seamless translation experience across all its supported platforms. Users no longer need to resort to external online translators, as Firefox now effortlessly translates website from one supported language to another. Chrome OS 117's embrace modern design and enhance window organization. The Chrome OS 117 update marks the arrival of the Material U Design philosophy alongside a rev-mapped window organizer streamlining the user interface and improving user experience. Regardless whether you are a fan of Bootstrap or Tailwind, now you can start using Material Design System absolutely for free with our MDB and TWE UI kits. For more information, check mdbootstrap.com or tailwind-elements.com. Finally, Hexagon recently released an interesting feature comparison between Deno, Bun and Node.js. A new analysis deep dives into the distinction and unique offering of Deno, Bun and Node. For developers navigating to evolving landscape of JavaScript runtime environments, this comparison offers invaluable insights. We strongly encourage you to check the comparison yourself, as you're gonna find a lot of interesting facts about similarities as well as differences between three of the leading tools. Thank you very much for watching today's episode of The Daily Coder. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you don't want to miss notification about the next episode, turn notification on. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and keep coding.